Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to mix vocals in Audacity. If you're creating an online radio show, podcast, radio imaging, or simply want to make your voice sound different, you must get hold of my Audacity presets. Head over to mrc.fm forward slash presets. Go and get them now at mrc.fm forward slash presets. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. It sound right, boy. So here we are. I've recorded something earlier on about bit rates and all kinds of great audio stuff. It's only 16 bit and it goes up to 48 kilohertz. Pretty decent vocals, but could do with some improvement, especially if I want to mix with music. It's only 16 bit and it goes up to 48. Very tough to hear it. So I'm going to take this recording, double click it, and first I'll add Filter Curve EQ. Now I recorded this on a Blue Yeti and I made some presets for my Blue Yeti that roll off bass, add on a bit of treble, pull up the presence around 3500 hertz and take out some of that boxy mid-range. Clicking to apply that immediately will make the vocals better. It's only 16 bit. But you can see the volume is still all over the place, which is where I'd go ahead and use a compressor. And again, select everything before I go ahead and add this compressor on. Double click, effect, compressor. And we'll do a threshold of minus 20, noise floor minus 60, 2.5 to one ratio and leave attack and release as is. Now we get a nice loud and bold voiceover, which looks really good. And now we're going to, we could probably actually go even further with the ratio. And I'm going to do that actually in the compressor. I'm going to push the ratio up to maybe four to one. And I'm going to take that threshold down a bit. If you find it didn't quite flatten everything out, this should do it. And we've got something a little bit better there. Now I can go ahead and maybe move this along to mix in with the start of the music there. Take this off solo, playback. Now, we might want to boost up the gain on that vocal channel. It's only 16 bits. But I still can't hear everything. So now I'm going to move the audio channel up here with the music and I'm going to add on an auto duck effect, which is going to fade the music out when I'm speaking. Listen to this. It's only 16 bits and it goes up to 48 kilohertz. So as you can hear, that's getting a lot better, but I might want to go on and just mess about with those auto duck a little bit more. Take this so it ducks the bed down a bit more and make that fade up a little bit quicker. And now we'll get something like this. It's only 16 bits and it goes up to 48 kilohertz. That might be a deal breaker for you. And to the end of the next mic. Perfect. And it fades the music bed right back up. We can also do that manually. We can mix with the vocals like this using some volume envelopes uh, to make that music bed a bit quieter there. So it's not so loud at the end and also at the beginning. And if we find that part of our speech is still quiet, like this bit at the start, we can actually put a volume envelope on there and just turn it up ever so slightly. It's only 16 bits and it goes up to. And now you can hear that the vocals are leveling out in sound. So Many ways to mix vocals, EQ, compressor, and make sure you take advantage of that fantastic envelope tool. It's F2 is the shortcut, and you can actually drag up and drag down quiet and loud parts in your vocals. If you have any questions, post them in the comments down below. Check out my Audacity Ultimate Course for Beginners. If you are a podcaster, YouTuber, voiceover artist, or audio editor, you need this course head over to mrc.fm slash audacity. That is mrc.fm slash audacity.